Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and this time I'm taking a graph and matching it to its table of values. Now this is just the kind of problem that students get intimidated by when it's really quite simple. Even though this looks complex, it's based on the very elementary concept of graphing points. So um, go back and check out graphing points if you don't know that skill, but let's use it here. So. Let's take a look. It says, which table of values could be used to produce this graph? Here's the graph. Here's my tables of values. And what I want you to notice about each of these tables of values is the titles of them. We see an X column, we see a Y column. So what does this mean to us? This means that when X is zero in this particular table, Y is four. That is a point. Recognize it or not, that is a coordinate pair that makes up a point. That is a point's address on this graph, what is known as the coordinate plane. So all you got to know is that the X movement is a horizontal movement. It goes left or right uh, on the, along that X axis. And a Y movement is a vertical movement. It goes up or down. We're going to start graphing all points at the origin, the very center, 0, 0 of this graph. Now, this four, first point is zero, 04, meaning go zero in the horizontal direction, do not move left or right. However, I'm gonna go four in the vertical direction. I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four. Look at that, that point's on that, on that graph, on that line. See the line here in space? The point I just graphed is on that line. That's exciting. It might be this one. Let's find another one. Next point I'm supposed to find, negative one, three. Let's check it out. Negative one in the X direction means coming left one. And then we're gonna go in the vertical direction, three. So we're gonna go up one, two, three. And I dropped down a point right there, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm not on my line. When I found the point negative one, three, it's not on the line. Guess what? This is not this graph. Let's erase those points and check some others. Okay, let's try a B. So B says zero, four again. So zero, four looks promising. That point checks. Then I see the point one, three. So what does that mean? That means one in the horizontal direction. Remember, this is a left or right movement. One in the horizontal direction and then three in the vertical direction, up or down. So one, one, two, three. Ooh, also looking promising. I'm on the graph again. Now let's check the point five, one. So five, one. So I'm going to go five, one, two, three, four, five in the horizontal direction, then one in the vertical direction and look, uh oh, oh no, I am not on my graph. I'm not on that line there. And so uh, that point didn't work. No. Okay, let's erase it here. What I'm looking for is three points that actually do fall on this line. What's been graphed in this graph? It's a line. So let's take a look. Well, four, zero. So careful, four, zero, not zero, four. This has moved four horizontally, but don't move vertically. So I will move four horizontally, one, two, three, four, but I will not make a vertical movement from the center of the graph. And that's on my line. Good. Now let's check out two, two. So one, two, horizontal, one, two, vertical. That's also on my graph. Ooh, good sign, I'm liking this. Now let's check out the point negative one, five. So negative one in the horizontal direction and then up one, two, three, four, five in the vertical direction. Look at that, three points on the graph, it must be C. Now I, unlike my students, want to just make sure I didn't screw something up. So I'm just going to go ahead and check D just to make sure. Let's take a look. Um, so let's see, D had four zero, that was on the line. So that point checked. It had negative one three, so negative one, one, two, three, there it is. That point's not on the line. No wonder D is not the right answer. This is definitely C, and I proved it to myself by ruling out all the others. So which table of values could be used to produce this graph? That would be C. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.